Hello and welcome to part 5 of our PHP email application project. I'm Jeff LaBeouf and in this final video we will create the script for our compose form. So I have the compose form on screen and I'm just going to uh, review how it works. This is the form our admins would use to actually send out their email newsletter to the uh, to the registered users. So we can include a subject. Let's say my first newsletter and the body. This is a short one. There we go. And now we just press send email. And after the forms processed, we get some feedback here. We have uh, confirmation of the the from variable. So this would be the admin's email address, the subject that I placed in the form, and then I can see that the mail was sent to email at email.com, Stark A, and Banner B. These are the three records in my uh, mailing list, and I can see that the Name the dear the the um, the opening of our letter or our newsletter um, the salutation has the user's name first name and last name plugged into it, which is why we ask them for that information when they registered, and then we see the body of our message here. This is a short one, and Jeff, and then final confirmations the confirmation that I have successfully emailed our message. So let's review the script for this file and see how it works. Okay, so quickly I have the form open here in Dreamweaver. I go to code. I can see there are basically two two input areas. There's the or two uh, areas uh, for the user to enter data. There's the subject and the body. So if I look at the code, I can see the input tag for subject is called subject, and the text area is called body. The name of that is body. So subject and body is what I'm actually passing to the PHP script. So first thing I do is just simply hard code the admin's email, and you could uh, use other constructs if that was something that should have been variable, like perhaps there were multiple admins, maybe they had their own accounts, and you would want to actually retrieve, in that case you'd want to actually retrieve that from uh, your member system. But for this simple project, we've just hard-coded it. Next, we need to store the form values. So, uh, here we have subject and body, which are new PHP variables, and we are using the um, post super variable, the super global here, to access uh, the information that was passed from our form, subject and body. And then we have a simple echo for feedback. So I wanted to see the from printed out on screen and the subject printed out on screen. After we print the feedback on screen, we write our include function, so in include connect.php, which again opens the connection with the database, and then we compose our TSQL. So we've got kind of a pattern here, you may have noticed that. Uh, the TSQL is being stored in query, and we write a simple um, MySQL statement here, which is select. So select is simply um, retrieving the information uh, from the, the database and we're retrieving some specific things. We're not retrieving the ID from that table uh, mailing list. We're just retrieving the first name, last name, and email from mailing list. So the connection defines what database we're using. So if our server had multiple databases, uh, this connection is made to the correct one. And then within that database, we have to be specific. We have to say exactly what information we want to retrieve and from what table. 
So first name, last name, and email from the mailing list. And uh, one of the interesting things about this is this would be multiple records that we'd be retrieving. We are, uh, this mailing list has uh, three records right now, and we are retrieving all three of them. Or we want to retrieve all three of them. So the query actually just stores that statement. Then we, we run it. So using MySQLi query, we, uh, we, we send this, this statement, which is right here, to the database. And uh, of course, we, we uh, catch any errors that may occur. And here is where those, those uh, records are actually going to be stored in this result. So now it gets a little tricky because we want to email each person in our mailing list. Well, we want to do something that's, that's uh, tedious and repetitious like that. Then we create a loop. So we're going to use a while loop. So while, and we create a, a new variable here, row, equals mysqli fetch array result. So we'll, we'll, what's happening here? Uh, result essentially contains multiple records of information. So we need to uh, set that up as an array. What happens is the mysqli underscore fetch underscore array takes result and sets it up as a handy array. So it takes that data set from the, the SQL and converts it to uh, uh, an array that we can then access within the body of our loop. And it's actually going to run through all the information that was received from the query and then become null. So once it becomes null, uh, this will uh, be null and our while loop will exit. So essentially it will no longer be true. So what's happening in the body of our while loop? So each pass through our loop, we're creating a, we're initializing a variable, or setting the value of first name to uh, row first name. Then we're taking the last name. We're creating a variable called last name, and setting that value to the uh, last name in that particular row, and then the email is set to two. So basically, this is in one record. We're taking the first name column and t setting the the value of that first name in that record to for our first name variable in PHP. Uh, we're taking the value of that last name column from SQL and putting it into the last name variable in PHP, and then the same thing with email. So the first time through, we're grabbing those three values from that first record. And then we're composing our email here. So we're actually creating an, a new thing called message, and uh, or a new uh, variable called message. And that's just where we're concatenating a bunch of the stuff. So we put the word dear. This is, again, that salutation. So dear, first name, space, last name. That's how we got it to personalize, so to have some variable data going on for each recipient of this email. And then at the, uh, we just threw a break in and then inserted the body, which was the form, the form field that the user filled out. Then we're using a standard, uh, this is a very common function in PHP, it's just mail. This is again a built-in function. And the arguments we send to it are to, subject, message, and from. And that sets up the uh, mail header. Uh, and then we just echo out some more feedback. So this is again for every pass of the while loop. So we're going to send the mail out to the first person and then the second person and then the third person. And each time it does that it's going to tell us who it sent mail to and it's actually going to show us the message. And then we just used our standard uh, confirmation that we've used on all of our other uh, PHP scripts just to make sure that the uh, the result worked. Um, 
we knew it we know it did because we received this information so this is kind of unnecessary but I included it because there's a small difference here because um, result is an array uh, having it equal to one doesn't doesn't make logical sense so instead what we've done is we've counted the um, the indexes um, in result so we've counted how many records were received and if it's greater than zero then um, if the count is greater than zero then uh, it's been successful there was at least one record in that in that um, database and then else we have our error statement and then we close our connection so to recap that is the, this was the uh, conclusion of our first PHP project which was creating a simple email application. Uh, please join us for our next tutorial series where we create, we expand on these concepts uh, and uh, start validating our forms and adding uh, some more defensive programming techniques into this project. Thank you for watching.